Hello everybody and welcome to Romance Most Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now, this is a reading for the sign of Aquarius. This is a weekly reading. So, this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everybody. So, please do take whatever resonates with you, whatever you're feeling comfortable with, and the rest of it just leave it aside. If you feel as though it doesn't really resonate, it doesn't feel right, then it most likely is just not resonating with you. It's just not meant for you for this week. However, if you would like to have your own personal reading, so your relationship, your questions, please do contact me at romanceviltarot at gmail.com and it will be my great pleasure to, um, to give you the information on the different type of readings that I can offer you. And um, also, you can find all my contact information into the YouTube Dropbox. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel and you do enjoy my videos and my messages, please do click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself, and it would be greatly appreciated. So with no further ado, we're going to begin this reading. So um, let's begin this reading. I'm using Lenormand and I'm using Kipper. Let's go see what's going on for you this week, if we can give you a little bit of a heads up here. I have the fox. I don't like seeing foxes. I have the fish. I have clouds. I have a meeting place. I have choices. I have a card that doesn't want to turn. It's the bridges. I have the ring. I have the witch broom. Along with the well. I have a child. I have a thief. I have a coffin. I have a false person. I have change. I have a family room. Okay. So here we go. Um, it's looking like you have a, a relationship right now which is on the edge of... Um, it, it's really on trouble, okay? It's on the edge of a cliff here. Let's put it that way. Um, I don't know if you know. I don't know if you felt that something was really wrong and that maybe somebody was... Um, playing behind your back, maybe there was cheating going around, um, because I have it depicted here in um, one, two, three, I have it in four, five different places here in the, in the reading within these two decks. Um, so I do have to say, unfortunately, if I'm the one who's telling you I'm, I'm sorry for it, um, I, there is some cheating. There's something going on into this relationship. Um, I feel as though the partner is not emotionally ready. Okay, they are just not emotionally ready for this relationship with you. Uh, they're more onto a relationship of convenience and on-off type relationship. I think they wanted this relationship to turn out. They did. They had really good intentions to begin with, but I feel as though the intentions kind of um, went away with the natural course of who they are. Um, that being said, you know they believe that you know there's you know there's much abundance. There's many fish into the sea. Let's put it that way, um, and they were really using their their innocence their uh, how they see things and in, in a childish kind of way okay this is how they're seeing the things this is how they live life it is like that um, if I was comparing it to tarot I would say that they would be a page um, I feel like uh, they've been seen somewhere. I, I feel like the, the whoever you know he or she is cheating on has been seen into a meeting place that is more public, like a park or something. And I feel that um, somehow you're going to get um, somebody, it's not going to be gossip, but somebody's going to see them. And this is how you're going to find out about this. Um, you're going to feel at that moment that, you know, somebody just, you know, stole a part of you. They stole your time. They stole your effort, your love, your patience, your trust. I mean, they're stealing many different things by doing that. Um, so this is really how you're going to feel about the situation. You're going to want to end the situation right there, okay? Are you going to end it or not? You might change your mind, but you're definitely going to want to end it. I have two cards here that are depicting to me just an end, okay? No beginning, an end. Um, so, uh, are you going to want to uh, just put an end to this situation because you know you can't live with this and you're not going to be able to cope with this within the future if future there is a possibility? Um, there's definitely going to be, if, if ever you do decide to stay with them, there's definitely going to be some changes that are going to go around. Um, 
This here is also your partner, okay? So your partner is the fox. The partner is also a false person because they've been hiding their emotions from you for quite some time. It's been going on for quite some time here. Um, so they've been hiding their emotions. They've been hiding what they've been doing, how they've been doing. Well, because they don't want to hurt you really is what it is. And they don't want to face what they've done. So it's two things. They don't want to hurt you and they don't want to face the repercussions of what they've done here. Um, that being said, there is going to be some cloudy skies. There's going to be some moments coming where it's going to be more difficult. Um, I'm not quite sure that you're going to be able to find a meeting place onto a nice solid bridge here. Bridges are really about... Um, reuniting two people into one spot together okay and i don't feel like this is going to happen i don't feel like you're going to be able to reunite here um i feel as though the um the pillars of this bridge are just not strong enough to withhold uh, the impact of the news that you're going to be receiving um whatever plans you had and everything right now is all really just on standstill nothing is really moving it's going to be um on pause at least until the choices are made that being said, you know, the choices being made, you know, they're quite simple. You know what they are. It's really about you're going to stay or you're going to leave. Um, so until that is decided, there's going to just be a pause on pretty much everything into this relationship. Um, I feel like there's going to be some, some changes that are going to be brought upon you and into the relationship. This is going to change you in a, a very different way. You're going to learn a lot from this. You're going to grow from this. Um, but you need to stay strong out of all of this, okay? There's going to be a lot of conflicts. There's going to be a lot of arguing. There's going to be a lot of frustration. I can see it here into the family room. Um, there's a lot of, um, there's going to be, you know, some mean words that are going to be said. So it's really, really important to, um, to try and be careful. And if you feel like the conversation is getting too heated, that you're not comfortable in it, then just leave and come back later, okay? Or communicate in a different way by text, by phone, by message, you know, just maybe not in person um up here i have the wishing well so the wishing well is really all about are you going to make a wish are you going to want to try and um fix this relationship again it goes with the choice card you're going to want to fix this relationship and make a wish and throw it up to the universe or are you going to want to say you know what i've hit rock bottom with this i'm not good with this i don't want this anymore i'm going to be moving forward that is another possibility when you have the well card so that being said, this pretty much depicts what's going to be going on within the next week or so. Um, there's really going to be some choices. There's going to be some revelations. Um, if you do remember, this is a general reading. It might not apply to, you know, every Aquarius. Um, if you would like to have your own personal reading, you can contact me at um, romancefultarot at gmail.com. In the meanwhile, I do wish you much courage, much strength. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for the following readings also, and um, I'll be seeing you a little bit later on with uh, some more readings. So many blessings to you, and I'll see you soon.